All right, hello. Uh, this is Christian Toth with Coach Site Motorworks, and today uh, I actually started working, but I figured I'd bring you guys along. So today I'm working on my 1994 uh, Land Rover Defender. Uh, technically, it's not mine; it's uh, my neighbor's, and I kind of take care of it for her. She lives over there. Um, so uh, the biggest issue I have today is. The catalytic converters are bad and it makes an awful rumble noise. Um, so just a, you know what, let's give a little tour first. So it is a 9094 soft top that I got this uh, genuine hard top from Florida shipped up here. Uh, but as you see, basic three speed. Um, notably, it has got, I don't know if you can see, 198,000 miles. Uh, it has had a head gasket job, so that's good, um, but pretty basic. You can see, you know, I've been working on it and taking care of it the past couple years, so um, done the rear bumper, painted and painted this. Uh, I had to drop all of that in order to get to the fuel pump, which blew, which uh, that's a real pain job because there's no access from the top. You actually have to, um, I'm not going to show you, you actually have to drop the whole tank from underneath which was a real pain so dropped all that to get into there um, I'm trying to think of some other they basic you know fuel fuel, uh, fuel filter at the same time um, typical maintenance stuff spark plugs all that good stuff um, but like I said today what I'm working on is my catalytic converter which is super expensive for both the catalytic converters um, and it's got a bad leak on the passenger side manifold. So uh, knowing that this is gonna suck and uh, a potential to break bolts, I've done some pre-soaking on all the bolts from um, in the past couple days. So I started it tonight uh, disassembling. So I have my 14 millimeter bolts that go up on the top. And if you're working on an original engine, it's gonna be, I think this one was like a half um, for the heat shield. And then uh, under that was like a 7 16 um, below that. And I can go ahead and show you the bolts. But um, uh, as you can see, yeah, it's pretty well doused with <laughs> PB Blaster, which is what I was doing. But I'll give you a look here underneath. So, yeah, this is the original frame, which is pretty nice for Baltimore, for Northeast, I guess Mid Atlantic. But. Uh, I don't know if you can see up there. Some of the bolts have already gotten. I've got two of the three on that side, none on that side. Um, basically, my tip is uh, first you want to start start and try to tighten the bolt, and you can get hopefully you can get a little bit of movement, and then you can back it out. Um, those ones or this one over here, I started backing out. I got maybe three rotations, then I heard you know squeak, squeak, squeak. Stop. At that point, you're going to snap the bolt. So you tighten it. So I tightened it back up and uh, put some more PB Blaster on it. That one, uh, I gave it some good tugs and it wasn't really wasn't really budging yet. And I really don't want to snap those in the manifold. So, uh, more soaking should help a lot. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm working on here. As you can see, it's new plugs and wires. Uh, I got a new distributor cap. I have a pointless ignition, uh, Protronics, as well as a flamethrower coil. Um, there's my new distributor and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to make some of the, the, the cooling, the, uh, the ignition system was the biggest thing I've had to do. I've done the thermostat a couple of years ago, but like I said, a lot of it's been cosmetic, um, but that's, you know, odds and ends stuff here and there. But, uh, while let this soak, I figured I'd give you guys an update on what I'm working on during, uh, whatever, day 85 of quarantine, but, so... You check in with me tomorrow, and we'll get back on this manifold. Bye. All right, well, hello, guys. Here we are on uh, day two of removing the exhaust manifold on the passenger side and undoing the three bolts on either side, um, holding the down tubes of the catalytic converter. So uh, something I wanted to get... Oh, you know what? While I'm here, uh, if you don't mind... If this is stuff is helpful for you guys or you enjoy watching it, 
If you could hit that like button at the bottom of the screen here, as well as uh, leave a comment if you think I should do something different, or um, if it's help you, helpful for you, or whatever you want. Um, I do check them and try to respond to any questions or comments that you guys have. So, uh, something I want to show you is, let's try to make this stuff easier for you guys, uh, to show you what kind of bolts we're working with here. So, um, this is a bracket for the heat shield over here. Um, this is the bottommost bolt uh, of the exhaust manifold towards the firewall side. So, and this has a smaller nut it goes in here. So this is actually, I believe, uh, is standard. The biggest trouble is this is all a mixture of standard and metric. Yeah, okay, so 9 16th is what you need to take this off. And this, I believe, yeah. So that is, I think it's a half, a half, yeah. But yet, the rest of the bolts are 14 millimeter. These ones, the bigger ones. Actually, that's what's on here now, but um, you, know, you can see how nice and snug that is. That is fourteen millimeter. Yeah. All right. So uh, just good. Let's go take a look under the truck and see and show you what I've been working on. It's kind of hard to see down there, so that's kind of why I want to do it before I get started. So you can see, got that bolt up there, one still there, one there. Those were the ones that were still pretty much locked in there, even when I tried. So this is day three of soaking, hopefully that'll help. So I have one left on this side, you can see up over there, still have, I got one off, and then got the front one off there too. So I got oh, one left on this side. And the three on this side. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead and get started, and I'll bring you back, hopefully, with no broken bolts. Remember, you wanna try to tighten it first, and then you back them off, and you kinda feel about, uh, feel how easy they are to come off. If you're having to really crank on it, they're not ready yet. I'd work them back and forth, put some more PB blaster, and let it soak another day. Um, or if you're try if you're undoing it and you hear like a it's like a big squeak like a loud squeaking noise and you're having a lot of pressure, it means you're probably pretty close to snapping the bolt. So let me get to it and I'll bring you back. All right, well today is a new day and I'm coming back. I think we're on day four of soaking some of these bolts uh, for the exhaust manifold. So. Let's get started here. Got uh, three bolts left underneath, one on the passenger side and two on the driver's side. Three on the driver's side, I haven't done that yet. Driver's side manifold and the passenger one is loose. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, that was not an easy task, but I got all my manifolds off, and out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen plus six, quick math here, is twenty-two. I had a twenty-two bolts. I only broke two, which I'm saying is a win. So this one broke, which is pretty good. So I think I can heat that up. And cool it down and I should be able to get some vice grips on that. This one I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do I'm gonna to try to um, just heat heat the bolts or heat this up a lot a lot a lot and try to get 
uh, this to expand, and then the bolt, uh, I should be able to screw out. That's the plan. But looking at these, probably be a good idea to get them machined. I think I can do that just so we get a nice flush surface. The aluminum down here, if you can't, hopefully you can see, just feeling. They don't feel too bad. This is, this is the side, obviously, that was leaking, the passenger side. Um, doesn't seem so bad. Doesn't seem so bad. Um, you can look at some of these gaskets. You can see right here. You can see that it's yellow. It turned yellow here. But definitely, that's where the exhaust was leaking through. So some there. Um, got some black here. That's probably where it was leaking. So these are actually supposed to be double sided. That's why it looks like there's so many. Um, this is my exhaust manifold, or my gasket for to my exhaust. But yeah, so we got them off. Which is a big win. Um, yeah, a little bit of pitting in between on that one. And a little bit of pitting there as well. Clearly it's a common problem. You can see these are doused because I've been spraying them before I went to work and when I got home for four days. So it wasn't easy, but if you're patient, you get them off. Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, well, let me, let me show you something. So my original plan was just to um, you know, replace the gaskets on the passenger side um, and replace the catalytic converter Y-pipe. But I took the Y pipe as I was trying to take the bolts off the Y pipe. I snapped the bolt on the pass on the driver's side manifold down pipe. So I needed then to take that off. So of course you start a project and you think it's just going to be somewhat simple, or you're just going to try to tackle what you need to do, end up doing it all, which is fine. Um, if uh, the, the driver's side gasket for the exhaust manifold hadn't leaked yet, probably was going too soon. So it's just as well, I get it done now, and I'll get both of those uh, decked in a machine shop, the exhaust manifold surface that goes to the engine side. Um, so, reduce our leakage in the future. Again, this car has 198,000 miles on it, so I got a lot. Um, so, looking at the Y-pipe, um, it's probably original. This is definitely an aftermarket. Um, you can see there's a leak here. There was a leak here a couple years ago. Um, and I just I needed it for a mission, so what I, I just had I just went to an exhaust shop like a Midas or whatever. Just had them cut that union out and just weld in a piece of pipe because I knew this uh, muffler was on its way out. I was just trying to let it live for another year or so. Um, but let me show you something what I saw when I was under here. Just doing some pre-treatment on. PB blaster on some of these bolts. Yeah, not supposed to be a hole like that. So that's definitely where most of my noise was coming from. So got a little surprise for you guys. I don't know what I'm putting back here, but obviously it's a new, it's a fully new exhaust system um, that I got to put in. So right now, because that is welded between the muffler and the catalytic converter is I gotta cut this midsection here and that'll allow me to drop this down. I'm also gonna cut the wires that go to the O2 sensors. You can see the other one's over there. Um, because there's not a chance I'm gonna get them out and they're probably bad. So um, there's my downpipe gasket. Um, yeah, so they're, they're probably bad. and. Uh, you know, while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put new two new O2 sensors. My wife have actually before I put them on there, so I don't have to deal with you know that the, the twisting wire and wire harness. So let's go cut those O2 sensor wires and get to cutting on this exhaust.
All right, let's take a look at it in the summer. It's pretty dark in there. Now you can get a better look at it. Sorry for the noise. Yeah. That is toast. I'm sure, my neighbors love me. <laughs> So the whole exhaust is and the manifolds are off of this. Excuse me, 1994 American Spec NAS Defender 90. All here. So it's all probably original, 25 years old. This has definitely been replaced. But all right. Now, cheers. And now we just play the waiting game during quarantine till the new exhaust parts come on, uh, come in. So thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.